Hi there paddlers today and coaches. I want to start the conversation about rotation. Okay, there's, there's, um, you know, it, it, it takes forever for us to get our rotation right in the dragon boat, but I've got a, I've got a, a visual and I've got a drill and a tool that you can use when you're on the dragon boat to help you make that core connection. And I'm talking about core from hips all the way up to shoulders. So I've got my paddle and what I'm going to do is show you what this drill looks like from the back. And then I'm going to move to the side and show you what it looks like, um, how the paddlers can actually implement the drill. So to start, we're going to take our paddle and we're going to put the blade at the tip of the shoulder and the handle at our hip. So what I want to show is that the sorry, the shoulder and, and the hip move together. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so that's rotation from behind. I wanna show you also from behind what it looks like when they're not connected, when the, the shoulder and the hip are disconnected. So a lot of times paddlers will do things like this. So my shoulders are past rotation of my hips. Okay. Or they'll rotate with their hips, which is rare, but not their shoulders. And they do that by the knee coming out to fake rotation rather than the spine moving together. So a fake rotation looks like this. Okay. So now we're going to take a peek at what this looks like from the side. So coaches, get your blade, get them to put their blade up. It takes a wee bit, especially if you don't have flexibility in your shoulders. So you want the, the top of the shaft to be at the shoulder, the bottom of the shaft to be at the hip. And just get them seated in the correct foot position in the boat and just feel what that's like to move as a unit, shoulder and hip, that shoulder and hip, and the opposite, shoulder and hip, in linear rotation without the knee coming out. Because when the knee comes out, did you see the bottom of my hip lifted away? So that's how I can tell that's not linear rotation. When it's linear rotation, they will stay glued in your rotation. Now, the other reason we want to create that rotation linearly is we are strong in the core. The whole core is strong. So the other thing that we are looking at in this position, when we don't have core connection or core muscles, we'll have an outy belly. So our bellies will be pointing this way. We want to keep as much of our spine planted on that blade as possible. So to do that, it helps to tuck in the ribs and tighten the low belly so that the, the whole base of my back is planted on the shaft. I'll show you what that looks like from behind. So from the side, if my belly was sticking out, um, my back would be away from the shaft in the middle. When it's in, my whole back is on the shaft. So that's what we're looking for to create that solid connection, as well as in all of your training. So give that a try and um, with your paddlers and see if that works to start that conversation about what rotation looks like when this hip and shoulder are connected and this hip and shoulder are connected. <laughs> Thanks so much.